this video is how to upload business card art, uh, JPEG art, to the Staples uh, printing services website. Um, when you go to staples.com, um, I want you to look carefully at these banners and see what's on sale. Um, particularly, and there's always a sale in printing. Today it's postcards, flyers, brochures, posters, banners. I have ordered postcards for Ham and Jam uh, for you guys and some note papers and things like that and I always look for these sales. Um, so if you see that you simply click on there and take a piece of scratch paper and write down the code. The It might say save June 2017 or something and you want to write that down so that when you go to checkout you could put that in there. You can't really take it back so you have to really you know research the sale first and then uh, put that in. The other thing I would highly recommend is go in right away, create an account. Um, maybe you could put in information, um, you know, on nonprofit status. I don't know. Uh, when I did it, I used a credit card. Uh, but the nice thing here is if you have an account and you sign in, you know, someone might go through cards a lot if they go to, you know, a lot of meetings or they went to a fair or something. It you're like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna log in and just say there add to cart arts already done it's already in there there's a lot of advantages to having an account it'll save you time in the future I did not uh, set one up because I'm not um, you know Green Valley and I didn't want my card associated on permanent things but here we go and by the way 999 is the price I could find um, I don't know if you can get a further discount as a nonprofit but it was heads and tails the cheapest that I could find and especially in Staples you know there's no shipping so that saves something else too so in this particular website it's shop services and then you want to choose business cards and then there's some different kinds here but it is this is the right area now it's saying okay your 500 starts now you have to kind of pay attention to what you're clicking on and you're like okay I'm gonna design these this price is much lower because we got the 250 and that'll be on checkout. So then you design the cards. You have an upload of your very own design. Now I've been uh, in here um, playing around to practice but um, I just want to mention that when we did download that template for the other video you know you do have this bleed area and you do have the safe zone that is reflected on the artwork so there's some tweaking to do in this um, website uh, app but you go to your computer and you pick um, in my case um, where were my cards I think I had mine under training mine were under training for this exercise Okay, and what you're uploading is the print JPEG file. It is the high resolution file. Double check to make sure that it is the high resolution file. If you see a low number, and then it, you made a mistake when you were saving it. But I did mine as print so I could kind of keep the two different and separate. And I will upload this. Okay, so... Um, let me just say that I've been in here playing around. So I will try to make my, um, let me try to do this. I'll get rid of those. You can delete artwork, by the way, just like I'm doing here. I was in here doing some playing around so I could do this exercise and you get the little pictures put here even the ones you don't want so you can as I was showing you you know kind of delete it with the little square but I've got the right one here and I'll move it over so you can see what's going on but this isn't right and I just want to show you why it isn't right this is the safe zone it's not going to get chopped off but um, we definitely when I did the cards I definitely had this guy's little hand a hair underneath that um, safe zone line so you need to go to zoom and you're actually zooming down to have it fit and that's a little bit too much 
I always target it right here so this is right within the safe zone and then I slip this down just a little bit as far as it'll go still not quite right because I don't want to hurt that guy and get him chopped off but again that's the safe zone so we're we're pretty good that's too much you could see up here that the scale to fit just about works right there but this is the idea you have to really kind of tweak the art once it's in here but this is how I've done all those cards within this uh, area you have to apply by the way and then uh, at the bottom that's just the front sorry about that so there is um, I hope you see it right there there's the back you need to click on the back and we'll do the same exercise again add a new image want to go to your computer I'm going to go to where I have the backs Alright, the default back is the, uh, the one with the mission statement and um, so that's what I'll, is what I'll use for this training exercise. So we'll get it uploaded, same type of thing um, that it's not quite hitting uh, properly. So we'll go to the zoom and let's just for fun go to the scale to fit. So hopefully you see that something is still amiss. We don't want words too much other than a hair in this safe zone. So this really needs to be pulled down. And then I hope that you'll see that it, it's nice. It goes to the edge, the color. It's kind of a guide for you. And then, then everything comes down. So the next thing to do once you're satisfied with that is to continue. And it's going to say, uh, is this the front you want? Is this and is this the back you want? Look at something's wrong here. So you want to go back and edit that. Something's definitely wrong. What did I do? All right, I know exactly what I did. Remember when I clicked on this and I said zoom, I'm like, okay, I'm going to move it down. It's almost to the scale to fit. I, I moved it down here so it would fit um, all the way to the bottom there. So it's it's nice to the edge but here's the thing if you don't hit apply and this will happen I've done it a hundred times it won't stick so now go back again that's why the approval process is very nice there you go that looks nice it looks just like our other cards and uh, yes I have reviewed uh, and I'm going to check the spelling which should have been done before you get it up there but here you go let's go through this exercise here so you don't want to ship it it'll save money if you just pick it up and then paper stock is standard finishing is standard and here is another area that will take this price down so um, the we've got it at the $14.99 um, if it was one-sided I did mention the $9.99 but I um, remember now that they are two-sided um, but we did get uh, some hand and jam cards that were one-sided that we added so you're going to add that to the cart okay so then the rest I don't believe that I need to go through it but these are really fast they'll be ready right away they work Saturday and Sunday too and then you can um, go to sh secure checkout and again once you um, fill out um, I don't feel that I necessarily need to go through this part of it but make sure you've got the right location um, you might want to say no if you're going to have somebody else pick it up you know um, and um, fill out this information keep in mind you don't have to do this every time if you take the time to uh, actually uh, 
a register, you know, so you kind of have the same information popping up all again. That, that'll save you so much time in the future. So um, without going further and getting more cards for Sarah, I'll leave it at this. And uh, thanks for, for learning this today.